Hey you guys, welcome back. How are you all? For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a first impressions actually on a few different items here. The main focus of the video is actually gonna be this brand new Hourglass Ambient Light Soft Glow Foundation. No light, just ambient soft glow foundation. So this right here retails for $58. I purchased it from Sephora site. I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. There are a decent amount of shades to choose from. There are 32 shades to choose from. I picked up mine in the shade number five, which is basically described as light with neutral undertones. So I figured that could work out for me. And I also decided to do a first impressions on the brand new Better Than Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. I also just purchased this from Sephora. It's available there now from Too Faced. It's like the cutest, cutest thing. So instead of just making it like a one product type of video review, I figured I would throw in like two or three new things. I don't have anything on my face. I really just did my brows. Uh, so firstly, I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. Actually almost done with this one here. How satisfying is that? So this right here, truck's passing. Also, I don't know if you could see here on my eye. So the other day I was washing my face with makeup, from makeup <laughs> and I was literally like itching it to no end, like with a towel back and forth and back and forth. It felt so good, but I knew I was doing something so bad for the face. And I feel like I just did it way too hard that like, I don't know if I just popped the vessel here, which is kind of like scary to hear. But yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> or it's just like a scab. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator. So this is a brush that I love using for foundation. It's for the putty primer because there's like a little spoolie scoop situation underneath. But I love using this for foundation just because it's just perfect. It's a good size, it fits everywhere. It just blends really nicely. So I'm gonna take like one pump of this one. Here's what it looks like. Not necessarily too runny. I do love more of like a full coverage look, but you can kind of see like, I do have redness in my skin and I feel like it's covering up pretty nicely. I also say I feel like I'm one out of a million here where I actually don't necessarily love super ultra glowy products. I feel like it really does emphasize a lot of my texture and pores on my skin. Not necessarily texture. I don't feel like I have too much of that, but I have huge jungle pores. <laughs> so a lot of times when I wear glowy products, it really just like shows, shows it all. Here's how one side of it looks on my face. I think it's a pretty good color match, you know, to my neck and it's giving me nice coverage. It also is blending out really nicely and it seems very hydrating on the skin. You guys know I have very dry skin, so this is something that seems like it's just sitting well. What it mentions about the Soft Glow Hourglass Foundation is it has a natural finish. It's supposed to be long wearing, cruelty-free. It gives you medium coverage. It is a vegan formula. A weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. It is also inspired by the Ambient Lighting Collection, which if you guys have never tried their powders, they're really to die for. And then in addition to that, just their complexion products in general and their powder products are really like, they just, they hit home. The foundation actually looks really, really pretty on the skin. I feel like it's not really emphasizing as much as I expected for a glowy product. And it is medium coverage, but I feel like if you want to build it up, it does have... Like you do have that option, you know? I think it did give me medium to fullish coverage. Like I still could kind of see a little bit like this little pimple situation here. And I didn't put it on my eyelids either, but you can kind of see it evened out my skin tone beautifully. And I feel like it just looks really good and very healthy on and pretty. I like it. Um, I'm gonna quickly just do concealer. This is by the Rose Ink brand. It's a pretty pricey concealer, but I have to tell you guys, I'm so ultra impressed with this. It's one of the first products I tried from the brand and i love it like it's it quickly bumped up its spot to one two on my list because it's, pr it's so pretty on i'm just gonna cover this up too Ooh. i'm not necessarily gonna set my face way too much just because i really want to see how this foundation just sits but i'm gonna use a little bit of the laura mercier loose powder underneath my eye and then my go-to fenty face powder which has just been one i've been using just a ton all right your girl is back i have some bake going on here and i pretty much did the rest of my face blush shelly blush by benefit i've been speaking about this a ton it's my baby lately bronzer i use a little bit from the physicians formula dream team butter bronzer so that bronzer 
and a little bit of the brand new Too Faced one. Ooh. A very very cute one. The foundation actually looks really really pretty. I can't emphasize on that enough because again I thought it would be a bit more obvious on but it looks more smooth like smoother than a lot of other foundations that I use. Okay so next I'm going to be applying some shadow from the Better Than Chocolate palette. I think I want to maybe use this shade the purple one it's kind of like speaking to me. I'm going to go in with the shade Buttercream which is this one right here it's like a matte cream type of color well matte light brown i guess i could say so i'm just setting the lids with this like a lot because i feel like the not the more i put but like you want to put a, a generous amount because i feel like it just blends out better like the shadows after end up <laughs> blending out better basically i usually never i usually never my kid always makes fun of me i usually never always sometimes yeah so i usually never take off this plastic piece here but let's have a moment of satisfaction the next shade I'm going to go in with is this kind of like mid-tone brown. It's called Cake My Day. It's a little bit more on the warmer tone side, I want to say. And I'm using this on just a like big our Sally brush. I don't know. I thought it was a refer brush, actually. But it looks like a refer brush. With this, I am putting it in the crease. And I'm just going to blend it. I'm going to build it up a little bit more. And put it more like under the brow bone like blow it out of it. It's turning out really nice. Um, just this eye, I feel like just it kind of skipped a little bit. It's fine though. Uh, the next shade I'm going to go in with, oh, I thought this was a matte. Hmm. We're just going to go with the shade anyway. This one right here is called Midnight Snack. It's like a deeper purple eggplant type of shade. I would have loved for it to be maybe like a matte finish. I'm using it on a Morphe JH33 brush, which is a Jaclyn Hill brush. And with this one, I'm really just going to put it underneath the brown. And a lot of times, uh, satin shades will actually look pretty nice in the crease area. Sometimes, like, I get worried to use those kind of colors because I feel like it just emphasizes more, like, texture and, like, wrinkles if you may have some. But I feel like um, if it's blended, usually, like, with a matte, and then once the, once the eye look kind of comes out, like, it just ends up working out, I would say. I'm going to go back in with the initial brush that I was using and then the brown shade that I was using, the, the Cake My Day shade. Really, like a very little of that one and blend out the outer part here so you can see the transition of the brown and then purple. Yeah. After Midnight Snack is blended out, I'm going to go in with Sugar Rush. So that really, really pretty like purpley tone color. It seems a little bit more see-through. I would have loved for it to be a bit more like saturated, I guess, but we'll see if we can build it up. Apply it here. Oh my gosh, it's such a nice color. Probably would have been better off if I put like a base underneath to intensify the color. Yeah, definitely. I'm just gonna take a brush here, the Morphe M124. Um, I don't really have any portrait Nemi, but this, La Croix is all wet, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of water from there. I don't want to get up. Mush it in there on the lids. I don't feel like it's making much of a change. Definitely, I should you have to build build up to see like the intensity, but it would be a nice shade to kind of swipe on and go with if you want something light and airy. I don't know, not working out for me. We have this shade here, which is like a deeper blue. Is it thunder outside? Mm. More pigmented, but I don't really want to go that route, but maybe we should. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. I'll put it more like in the middle. Okay, I think that this eye look is probably the worst one I've ever created in my life. Pretty bad. <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know. There are times actually that I create an eye look with either a new palette or something and i'm rushing somewhere and it comes out terrible and i'm like okay i just don't really have the time you know but um usually the places i go to like the people there don't know like a lot about makeup so for them even if it doesn't look the bestest they'll be like oh my gosh nice makeup I'm like that <laughs> thanks i'm not necessarily fond of a lot of shades in here i probably should have swatched it before i'll actually throw in swatches right up here so you guys can kind of see what we're working with but there are a decent amount of just like regular metallic shades and then you have a lot of like see-through type of lid topping topper shades so shades that 
you could wear on their own, but it doesn't really show much on the eye, which if that's the look you're going for, it could be nice. But if you're looking, going for like more like an in-depth look, and for me, like I always say, a shade could be a see-through shade and a nice shade, but it can also be pigmented because if you use it in a very pigmented way, like build up, you have that option. But if you do want it to be see-through, you can always just kind of glide on the shade very lightly on the lid. So I love when a shade is actually a little bit more pigmented than like this where I don't have the option. So yeah, the shade Sugar Rush definitely sucks. I'm very upset about that one and it already has hard pen. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Cake My Day. So like that deeper brown that we use in the crease part. Uh, put it on the lower lash line. Try to tie in the look as much as I could. I mean, this shade at least is a good one. One out of a few. I will, of course, use this palette more just to kind of feel it out, see what's up. But based on my first impressions, I haven't had a fail in a very long time first impressions wise. Usually I'm like, oh, maybe with this, from the shades that I used, it's going to be a no-go. I'm just going to take a bigger fluffy brush and blend it. I think this bake can go. It's been a minute. For liner, I'm using the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Black Cocoa. This is available on Ulta site, and I was linking it in my other video because I use it there too, and it's only $12. <laughs> it's such a good one. I need to get all of the shades. The formula is 10 out of 10, and this shade specifically is a life. I need to sharpen it, but I need to tight light as well. For mascara, I'm going in with the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. This has been my obsession as of lately. I love this. It makes your lashes look beautiful. But if you do want to dupe, the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, I would say, is probably the closest dupe to this one. This one is just a little bit more watery. To save the look, I'm applying lashes. I don't know what style this is, but I will leave a similar one linked down below. I threw out the packaging, so I forgot, but... I'll uh, try to remember for next time. <laughs> the makeup is pretty much completed. For lips, I actually went in with the Play Tint by Benefit Cosmetics, which is pretty much a liquid blush, but you could use it for the lips if you want to. It creates a really pretty like stain almost. I think it's perfect for summer, and I love the Play Tint shade. It's such a cute color. I'm very into these cute shades. Shelly and this loves um i did try to intensify the eye a little bit to put a bit more of like the purple, but I will say, I mean, I only use a few shades, so I can't necessarily judge this based on that. But from the few shades that I use, it's really not necessarily a palette to write home about. It just seems very, like, mediocre. Honestly, for now, I would say just kind of, like, save your money. I could kind of see this being at a CCO at some point, possibly at TJ Maxx, even being on sale at Sephora. Like, I could see it happening already, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know if Too Faced is there anymore to have their palettes retail for $49. Uh times have changed but hopping back into the ambient soft glow foundation by hourglass i love how this looks on the skin it almost kind of created like a like a, a soft filter effect on the actual face like it creates like a smoothness like a blur so i'm actually very impressed i think the shade is actually also really really good for me it blends out beautifully great coverage it just looks good on so i'm really obsessed Honestly, I feel like I could also use this in a very light way if I use less pumps. I did have to use about one and a half pumps to create more of like a medium, almost fullish coverage look. But if I use less than one pump, I think it'll still give me a really pretty finish. So obsessed with this so far. I'll report back to you guys, of course, in a like speed reviews video, let you know as time goes on like what i think about it after i use it more and then of course with this like i said but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you found it helpful let me know your thoughts and comments below and i will see you all in my next video